Lord Freya. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster <laughs> than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. <laughs> what irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Tell me about the camp. Hey. I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you hope to do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but... As long as you have her back, I'll have yours. And hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. I'm sorry, we have to go. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Runa. Go ahead, carve the letter. It's an incantation. Su na. The elves in Flair's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? Whoa! Whoa! 
There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through? The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point.
What is wrong? I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gunhild. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. My friend's souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. Peace bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps. Bridge supports look sturdier. We'll have to find a way to the other side to lower it. <laughs> Learn anything? Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. said the ace here burned him yes we weren't yet at war but relations with the vanir and aesir had been hostile for ages and we'll just stop there for now
Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It's beautiful, Lance. Well, Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freyr was a guest. When Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an all that thought. Find you! Incoming! What do you need? Only she can cure my sickness. With Mangold, Meyer, and Poe. We must help her. She demands a cure. She is dead. She is trapped here, ignorant of her own death. If we bring her what she needs, she'll move on. You are certain? I'm not going to do nothing. She needs Mangold, Meyer, and Pong. We should find some. What did you find? As you asked. A nook and song. Be wary. No! Nothing good can come up this noise. Find you, watch out! I could recall the face of every one of my people, but sometimes I wonder if gods live too long. I once felt the same.
could be useful. like that work. everything I need. Let's return to the sick spirit. You would cure the dead. I promised I would take care of my people. I do not even remember her. Nor she you. And? Let us return to the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> returning to me. I feel Freya. I am here. I knew you would return. Even as the doubters cursed your name. Thank you. But it's time to rest. You have earned it. Thank you, my queen. I am tired indeed. Shall we continue? Yes. Freya being burned by the Aesir mob. Well, Freya certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. Kratos! 
creatures weren't always this ravenous. The ecosystem. It's out of balance. <laughs> Life returns to the garden. Good. All is desolation. A fitting fate. Astrid. No. Spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid. What happened to you? To your garden? The anger you are. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its putrescence. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The Earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. When my garden blooms... This garden still aches. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. Glad to see that still works. <laughs> Looks like more of Lunda's old armor. We only have the complete set now. Something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Thor whispered to you? Who? Thor, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. Know what? We'll finish this later. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. I await the day when my garden grows again. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Anything interesting, brother? Let's return. 
return to Astrid. <laughs> Time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. Now, if we could get back to the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And time to walk. The story will keep. Please. Nice work. As long as they still haunt this realm, so will I. How do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Looks like that worked. 
My friends' souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. So, what's it like being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. But I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding scene. Must be safer this way. We'll need to find another way around. Getting back to your story, Freya. You were forced to grant an audience after uh. the building of. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed. All the same. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Do you know why I left that night, Mimir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad, I refused. He was furious. Throwing every object he could find, destroyed the room. There was only coldness. I tried to make it work. No one could have lived like that in <clears throat> just... Look, over there. Allow me. Food. I never thought I'd come back here. Reavers. Of course. Watch out! It's a soul eater! It doesn't belong here! We must get rid of it! Behind you! Incoming! <laughs> This is 
against the last. What for? This place, it used to be sacred. Now it's, it's abandoned, vandalized. Hopefully the objects I'm looking for are still here. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. The door is shut. If memory serves, we'll need to light both of those torches to open it. This is a mystic fire. Its flames are short-lived. It's a 
denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding. Anything illuminating? From the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. We drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. Read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. Better now? No. The pain only grows. <sighs> Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? about that day I wish I could change. If only I could see the signs. anything? The crest of the Hewley family. One of the first families ripped apart by the war. My circlet's here. It's on that pedestal! 
also by the balcony. We must remove these creatures first. Symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. They stopped too. The word isn't complete. It's missing a piece. The word is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. I thought I'd feel peace by breaking it. But I feel nothing. Perhaps what you see cannot be found in a circlet. You may be right. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Here you go. After all the battles I've fought, why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. 
Are you ready? Yes. There it is. My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. The symbol of our union. The stone refuses to let go. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. My bond to my son, to the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy, but it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. What's it say, brother? I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today.
ruin them. If I may. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is. And I... I caused you so much pain. Put you in a terrible situation. For that, Claire, I am truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious know-it-all. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, your majesty. <laughs> Digital arrows won't work on this. Digital arrows won't work on this. Anything interesting, brother?
see something. Too much for that boat. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Those scrawlings must be Sather nearby. Lunda's ore. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. More Sather markings. Goonhild's companions can't be that far ahead. Look what they've done to this place. That's all Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little sphere. Should we return them to her? Sigil arrows won't work on this. Over there. Those are the lost Sather spirits. Friends of Goonhild. They don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Let us put them to rest. <laughs> Let's get moving. 
That's the last of them. Damn it. I knew these souls. I would have thought them smarter than to meddle with save their magic. They were desperate. And now they are dead. Good riddance. You blame yourself. And? It will not lessen your pain. Let's return to Gunhil. Unless you'd like to condescend more? I do not. <gasps> I wish things had gone differently, but these saved me from the rescue. Your friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I helped no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note. <laughs> Good thing we didn't miss this. What? You just came to stare? Uh. Right. Business time.
here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Health has been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite ball. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually, any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Uh. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. This crest, it's mine. 